To access Simmons Insights, you're going to want to start at the library's homepage, libraries.olmis.edu. From there, in the databases box, you'll see A through Z. Click on S. Scroll through the list until you see Simmons. At this point, if you have not already logged in with your UM Web ID and password, it will ask you to do it. Once you've done that, you should see this page. Once you're on the MRI Simmons page, click Proceed. One thing to keep in mind when you're using Simmons is that we currently have access to 25 users at one time. So when you use Simmons, you log in, you run your cross tabs, do what you need to do. When you're done, I'd ask that you come over to the right hand corner where it says University of Mississippi and click log out. That way if we have multiple people or multiple classes trying to use the resource, they will be able to immediately get into it when you get out. All right. Now getting started, the first thing when you're in Simmons is use this drop down right here where you see Spring 2020 Simmons Connect Plus. Expand under Connect and make sure that you are in the most recent Simmons survey, which we are. Now when you're in Simmons, the different parts of the resource do different things. This first box where you see Media Activity Smartphone Digital Tablet is our questions box. When we click on something from the questions box, like I'm going to come click on Lifestyle Demographics, Demographics Personal, we can expand. So this is where you're going to find your basic demographics. And if you look, you see gender, you see age, you see race. But if you come down, you're going to see um, educational attainment, marital status. You're going to see a lot of different demographics you can choose from. Click on one and the answers will pop over into your selection box. Once something is in your selection box, you can move it either to your columns or to your rows. One thing to note is above the selections box is a box that you can check or uncheck that says use question text along with answer text. So if I were to take mails, I can drop them over to columns. My question in this case is gender. What gender? Male. If I uncheck that and move mail over, it moves the same information, but it just takes mail instead of the question and the answer. If you move something over to a column or a row and you decide you don't want it, click on it, right click, delete, and you can take it out of there. So you can also combine variables. If I take mail and move it down to this box below, this is the coding box. This allows me to combine variables. So instead of just looking at males, I can look at males of a certain age range if that's what I'd like to do. So I'm moving males down. I'm going to click and, and then I'm going to come find the age range that I'm interested in. Let's take 18 to 34 and I'm going to pull it down. Keep in mind when you're combining variables, you will need to add an and in between those variables to tell Simmons that you want this variable and this variable. Once you have your variables combined, you can rename them. You don't have to. I just like to rename them to make them a little shorter. Now on the bottom here, you can see you could move it to the columns or you can move it to the rows. I'm going to move it to the columns. And now I'm going to come up here and get rid of just our males. Now, what would we like to know about the males? We can scroll down some more and expand any of the sections we want. I'm going to expand the cable, television, radio section. And then let's come look at so we have video streaming. So you've got video streaming download services used the last 30 days or the last seven days. So here in our selection box, we can see Amazon Pay As You Go, Amazon Annual Fee, Hulu, commercials, no commercials, iTunes, Netflix, all of those. So you can pick a few of these. Let's go Amazon Prime Annual Fee, Hulu commercials, and Netflix. 
Notice how it's brought the question over with the answer. Again, you don't have to do that. You could uncheck that box and then I'll pull sling over and you can see what that looks like. And then you'll just see sling. So you could move the question over for the first item you pick and not for the rest or just move them over for all of them. It really is just a personal preference. What else might we want to know about these people? Let's keep scrolling down. HD programming. Do you subscribe? So I want to take my question. I'm going to come down here with yes and no. You can also add don't know, but maybe you just want yes or no. Then they have options for day parts. So what time of the day are people watching? These people watching TV. You could look at specific shows, specific networks, specific types of events. So if you were interested in sporting events, you could look at have they watched them on television? Have they watched certain things online? Listen to it on the radio, attend. So we could come down here looking at watch on television. There we go. So I use college football as the same sport option, but just included the TV, online radio, or attend. So now we have a decent amount of things here to look at. So let's come to the top right, and now we can run our cross tab. You're gonna see cross tab, and then you're gonna see that arrow. You're gonna wanna click on that arrow. Now, this is our cross tab, and you can see over on the left, are all the questions that we asked. And if you hover over them, you'll be able to see the whole amount. Now on the right hand side, the total is just totaling up everything for you. You can see that the index equals 100. What you're gonna wanna do is come over here and look under the mail 18 to 34. So in your sample, you're going to see the amount of people who actually returned or answered the survey. So the number, number of people who responded to the survey question here is your sample. Under weighted, this is the amount of people that they have calculated that it represents within the U.S. Notice under weighted, when I hover over it, it shows you the three zeros. When you're reading the weighted numbers, you need to add three zeros to the end of each of these numbers. Then you have your vertical and your horizontal percentages. In order to read these, this first option is the Amazon Prime annual fee. So if I'm looking at it vertically, I'm going to start at the top. So my group at the top is males 18 to 34. All right, out of males 18 to 34, 25% of them have used this version of Amazon Prime in the last 30 days. If I were going to read the horizontal percent, you have to start over here on the left. So of all the people who have used Amazon Prime in the last 30 days, 16.9% of them are males 18 to 34. Now, when you're looking at your index, think of 100 as your base. Below 100 is less likely, more than 100, is more likely. You'll see the green arrow showing you the more likely, the red arrow showing you the less likely. So if we were still looking at Amazon Prime, we can say that males 18 to 34 year, years old are 17% more likely than others to have used Amazon Prime in the last 30 days. If you want to save this cross tab, you can come up here to enter a name. And then you can hit save. However, one thing for you to remember is that anyone can go in here and um, delete saved cross tabs. So what you should really do instead of saving it is export it. Over here on the left, if you'll click export, you can export it as an XLS or a CSV.
they look slightly different, so I suggest you downloading both and seeing which you prefer. You can download it as an SPC, which then allows you to re-upload it into Simmons, but I suggest the first or the third option. One thing I want to point out is down here on the bottom right, it tells you that if you have one asterisk, then basically you have a sample size of around 31 to 60. So the projections they're showing you may be unstable. If you have two asterisks, the, the sample size was below 31. And so the projections are likely unstable. So do not use numbers um, or projections with two asterisks. And if you're using the numbers with one asterisk, then be careful um, because that was a smaller sample size. If you would like to run another cross tab, simply come back over to the top right and you'll see dictionary. Launch 2.0 and then dictionary. Click dictionary. It will take you back to your original search. Remember when you're finished with Simmons to come up and top right hand corner, University of Mississippi, log out.